Today I'm going to talk about the election. In this corner, weighing in at zero tax returns, it's the annoying orange, the comb over, push over, Donald Trump! And in this corner, weighing in at 33,000 emails, it's the silver server, the pantsuits on fire, Hillary Clinton! Knock it off, Peter. We're journalists. It's supposed to be neutral. Hail to the chief bitch who ever gets elected. Hillary Clinton or maybe Donald Trump. Do, do, do. There will be grief. We will hang our heads dejected. Our dirty politics made this land a jump. Look at it this way. The good news is, one of these people isn't going to be president. Voting is where you pick the lesser of two weasels. It's all about strategy, like remembering that your vote only counts if you don't throw up on it. Voting is where you choke down a buttered popcorn flavored jelly bean just so you don't have to eat the licorice flavor. There's also something called third parties, but that's only if you want to be a party pooper, so forget about that. I like my votes like I like my french fries. Early and often. This election's the most important one ever until the next one. Some people just want to talk about scandals, like all the scandalous things the candidates say they're gonna do when they're president. But I think we should talk about the real issues, like the new issue of the National Enquirer that says Hillary's having Trump's alien baby. Wake up, sheeple! The media's pulling the wool over your whole body! While some folks are playing fact checkers, Trump is playing fact 4D chess. Trump's policies are very detailed. Like when he says he wants you to win so much that you get tired of winning? Well, that's a bad one because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of anything. And besides, sometimes I want to lose on purpose. Like when I tell Peter to race me into a mud puddle. Chump wants to make America great again. I think that's a good idea, because originally it was way better than now. You could live in a tent and wear feathers on your head and chase buffaloes. But now the PC police make you buy a PC and do boring stuff. So I agree we should go back to our roots. There's even this movie I haven't seen yet about how great it was back at the birth of our nation. It's called Roots. Chump wants to beat China, so we're going to make walls great again by building a big one between us and Mexico. I think that's a terrible idea, because it would give lots of jobs to Mexican people to build it, and they'd have a place to live inside of it if they need to, and if someone needs help getting from one side to the other, then they could let them in through the windows and let them sleep there every night. And that's all a little too nice. We need to be tough and make them go through all the same hardships we do. Like voting. No, so he's lying, because there's already a wall around every country. You can see it right there on the map. Some people say Chump is out of touch with the common people, but actually he combs his hair one scalp at a time just like everybody else. Chump isn't a normal politician, and you can tell because it's got polite right there in the word. Instead, he got rich and famous from being the host of Celebrity Apprentice. Which, if you'll remember, I made my first videos about a couple years ago. Even back then, I knew he was going to make it big someday. He came into our lives with nothing but the hair on his back and a couple dozen words. He may have stolen a lot of other things along the way, but he also stole the most important thing of all. Our hearts. Chump is very respectful of women because he doesn't want them to hurt their head breaking the glass ceiling. Nobody knows women better than Donald Chump. He's practically been married to hundreds of them. Chump knows that girls are good at things like taking care of people and getting things done. And that's not the kind of government we live in. Plus, he knows girls can't focus on their jobs for certain times of the month. Yep, that's right. Gilmore Girls Marathon Weekends. With Hillary, you actually get two for the price of one. Because guess who else is coming back to the White House? Socks the Cat! Yep, he's down to his last life and you're stepping on it. What the government doesn't want you to know is that Secretary has secret built right into it. Plus, I looked up the other word, airy, and it actually means nest of a bird of prey. And that's how you know she's hawkish. The government doesn't want you to know that she's actually hilary. Because she says things like, children are the future. Well, guess what? I've seen some around already. And I sure haven't seen children in the future yet. There's even photos of Hillary from when she was a kid, and guess when they were? That's right. The past! Hillary's really smart because she knows how to do emails. So she might even be able to do the job remotely. And if she can do it remotely as good as Obama, she'll be just fine. Besides, deleting emails is what they're for. It's like that game where you have to shoot all the aliens before they even start invading your space. It's called US Foreign Policy. Some people say Hillary's charity does pay for play, which I think is bad. Because if you want to go play with a sick kid in the hospital, it should be free. 
I mean, it's not that much more fun. I've got a strategy you can use to convince people to join your side. I call it Season the Vote. Let me demonstrate. Jump season! Healing season! Jump season! Healing season! Healing season! Jump season! Oh yeah, I got you to say it! Ha ha, your take back, that's your official vote, it's your vote when the country goes down the tubes! Oh yeah! That's pretty much everything for now. Don't forget to like this video and comment on it and follow me on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and send me money. It's <laughs>